City Harvest Church. This is our story. This is our life. A testament of God's glory and grace. Here's where it all started. A group of youths on fire for Jesus, led by their cell group leader, Kong Hee. Kong, then a young evangelist in his 20s, taught them how to love God and to love His Word. Though their pockets were empty, their hearts were full of passion towards God. Relationship and discipleship grew to become a focal aspect of their DNA. And as they continued reaching out to the unchurched with a love of God, the group began to grow. 1989 marked a pivotal moment for this group of youth. Kong had decided that year to become a full-time missionary to the Philippines. But when this group of passionate teenagers surrounded him and asked him to pastor them in their Christian walk, how could he refuse? And so, on May 7th, 1989, City Harvest Church was born. We were young and inexperienced, but the mandate given to us from God burned clearly in our hearts. We were called to impact Singapore, Asia, and the rest of the world with the love of Jesus Christ. The Lord spoke to me and told me you want to raise up an army of young people that's going to take this nation by storm and ultimately to go all over Asia to proclaim the message of the gospel until the Lord returns, to present all the nation on bended knees before the Lord. Well, it's not easy wanting to start a work among young people we have plenty of opposition. Many people think that we are too arrogant, too proud, too immature. But somehow the fire of the Lord burns strongly in my heart. As with any journey, we had our fair share of challenges. One of our toughest was constantly moving from place to place, searching for a location that could accommodate our growing church. Nevertheless, the presence of God was with us and many kept coming and giving their hearts to Jesus Christ. From a humble beginning of 20 people, we grew to 200, 800, 3,000, 7,000, 10,000, 16,000, and more than 32,000 attendees in 20 years. In the midst of the revival, Kong married his sweetheart's son in 1992, and together, they built City Harvest Church step by step from the ground up. In 1995, God opened a door for the church to acquire the broken down former Hollywood theater. Everyone pulled their resources together to pay for the renovations. And in just 30 days, the old theater was beautifully resurrected. This location became our house of worship for the next six years. In the year 2001, we completed one of our biggest projects to date, our first church building. In order to make this dream a reality, our members gave sacrificially over a seven year period from 1995 to 2001, raising a total of $48 million that allowed us to pay for the project debt free. The entire construction took one and a half years and the stunning structure is clad with an iconic titanium-clad exterior. This was truly a people's project, with everyone in the church lending a hand to make it the most beautiful place for our weekly worship. Following the completion of our Jurong West facility, we grew rapidly to 10,000 and then 16,000 in the next four years. On December 2005, to accommodate the growing congregation, we moved our English services to the Singapore Expo. Just like the Book of Acts, the Lord is adding to our church daily. To date, our congregation is made up of more than 22,000 people from all walks of life, with an average of more than 200 people receiving Christ as their Lord and Savior every single week. On March 2011, City Harvest Church finally fulfilled its vision for a location in the marketplace for the marketplace, to serve the marketplace. By the grace of God, we have become co-owners of the iconic Suntech City Convention Center. Missions is the heartbeat of City Harvest Church. God has given us a vision to reach out to all the nations of Asia and beyond with the gospel of Jesus Christ. 
planting churches and training up local church workers. Our mission work extends to countries such as Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, Thailand, India, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, China, Hong Kong, Japan, Australia, and the US. Presently, we have 47 affiliate churches and many Bible schools that are growing and impacting their communities for Jesus Christ. Our School of Theology, or the SOT, was started in 1994 to help equip men and women to become workers in God's harvest fields. To date, more than 5,000 students from all over the world have graduated from the SOT. A cornerstone of CHC's ministry has always been to engage the new generation of youths and young adults in the world. In 2003, City Harvest debuted Emerge, a conference that is specifically catered to the energy and spiritual hunger of young people. Emerge has since grown into an international youth movement, becoming a platform for teenagers and young adults to showcase and inspire each other with their God-given creativity and talents. The impact of this movement has traveled to churches in other cities, from Indonesia to Taiwan, with great success. To foster unity and development within the body of Christ, City Harvest founded the Asia Conference in 2008, a biennial conference that brings together global church ministers, Christian business leaders, and artists to educate, equip, and empower believers in Asia. The 2010 event was a runaway success, attracting over 25,000 attendees from 70 countries. More than 2,000 churches were represented at the five-day conference. Because the Word of God is the foundation of everything we do, famous Bible teachers and pastors have regularly graced our pulpit, bringing their unique messages and revelations to our congregation. Nineteen ninety six was the year in which God spoke to Kong and Son to take his love beyond the four walls of the church. Church Without Walls was born from that defining encounter, and this radical yet simple concept revolutionized the lives of every CHC member. Many people who had never stepped inside a church were touched and transformed as our members actively modeled the love of Christ, healing hurts and meeting needs. As our community work grew, Sun founded City Harvest Community Services Association on March 1996, a thriving social work agency that caters to the needs of the less fortunate in our local community. CHCSA services cover a wide spectrum of our society, caring for the children, the elderly, youths, families, ex-offenders, people with special needs, the hearing impaired, the chronically ill, and the dying. By 2011, CHCSA has provided more than 15,000 services to more than 8,900 different beneficiaries through visitations and practical help. It has received recognition from numerous community organizations. Our passion to make a difference in the lives of others has given City Harvest Church a social influence that extends well past its four walls, expanding beyond the local community into the global arena. The humanitarian work undertaken by our church and members are driven from three agencies, CHC itself, CHCSA and CityCare, a non-profit organization founded by members of CHC that aims to promote volunteerism and fundraising for disaster-stricken regions. A massive earthquake, registering 9.3 on the Richter scale, hit the Indian Ocean. Huge tsunamis destroyed homes and killed more than 230,000 people. CHC's medical team was the first international delegation to arrive in Banda Aceh, Indonesia, one of the most badly hit areas. The 12 medical teams of 114 personnel were sent and treated more than 20,000 people 
and conducted more than 2,300 surgeries. 15,898 kilograms of food and relief supplies were sent and 11 outdoor medical centers were set up. In the aftermath of the disaster, CHC also reached out to quake-stricken Sri Lanka, building two orphanages, one at Jaffna and another at Badula, and getting a land for a proposed medical center at Jaffna. An earthquake measuring 8.5 struck the island of Nias, Indonesia. A total of five medical teams comprising 22 doctors, 13 nurses and 16 disaster rescue workers were sent from CHC. We partnered with locals to build a hospital that catered to the medical needs of the surrounding islands. A deadly earthquake measuring 8.0 on the Richter scale hit the Sichuan province of China, killing an estimated 70,000 people and displacing close to 5 million. For weeks following the disaster, city care workers visited the quake region, bringing much needed supplies such as food and tents to the homeless victims. A catastrophic quake measuring 7.0 on the Richter scale hit the Caribbean country of Haiti, killing more than 316,000 people and displacing over a million Haitians. This was the second deadliest earthquake in history. Medical relief teams from CHC and CityCare, comprising doctors and nurses, were swiftly sent to the epicenter of the disaster, bringing medical supplies, water filtration pumps and tents for those affected. Money was also raised to build a clinic for Haitian children. The 2011 Tohoku quake, measuring 9.0, hit northeast Japan, producing huge tsunamis that killed tens of thousands of lives and caused extensive and severe structural damage. To assist in the disaster relief, CHC sent six teams to provide practical help and support to Ishinomako City in the Miyagi Prefecture. Beyond disaster relief, the humanitarian efforts of CHC, CHCSA and CityCare and the members of the church touch many other segments and dire needs of the less fortunate. In 2002, City Harvest received a mandate from God to engage the world of culture using our God-given talents, abilities and creativity, and to use the resulting influence and voice among the unchurched masses for His glory. We call this the Cultural Mandate. That year, we launched into the pop arena of Asia, making headlines in the media and entertainment world with Sun's crossover project. Amazingly, more than 500,000 lives have been reached through her live concerts, of which almost 140,000 have given their hearts to Jesus after hearing Sun share her testimony in a concert segment. Besides her numerous chart toppers on the Mandarin pop charts, Sun also has six number one English singles under her belt, all of which top the US Billboard Dance Chart and the UK Music Week Dance Chart. <laughs> But more than just musical success and accolades, her breakthroughs in the pop worlds of East and the West have opened a door for us into China. Sun's secular success has paved an unprecedented inroad into affecting change in the lives of multitudes in mainland China. Not only does her music serve to inspire and empower the Chinese youths, she has also had opportunities to counsel on radio and TV. Most significantly, Sun has been given the unique opportunity to touch the less fortunate children in China, bringing the practical aspects of faith, hope and love into their lives through donations of her own music royalties, as well as partnerships with business entrepreneurs in City Harvest Church. Sun's humanitarian outreaches also extend to other cities and countries of the world.
Today, the crossover project has a massive ripple effect throughout Asia as other Christian artists boldly share their faith through the avenue of pop culture. Beyond the music arena, the cultural mandate extends fully into the marketplace of business, education, the mass media, and the arts and entertainment industry. The last two decades have been a testament of the greatness, goodness, and faithfulness of God. City Harvest Church has been given an amazing mission to love God wholeheartedly, to love people fervently, and to be salt and light in our contemporary culture. This is a place where dreams are achieved and success is celebrated. This is a place where lives are built and relationships are strengthened. It is a haven for children, youths, adults, and seniors of all races and from all nations. Together, we are working hand in hand with Christ, building a church that the gates of hell cannot prevail against. Our adventure with God has only just begun.